Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Monte Carlo method to find the approximated value of pi. So guys, suppose that you have a circle of radius r, which is inside this square and the areas can be given by this formulas. And if you take a ratio of these two areas, then you have the following value of pi. And in Monte Carlo method, what we do is we approximate these areas with the number of random points which are inside this circle and total number of random points. And we have this formula. So let's code this formula and see what we we'll get. So this is the plan of action guys. We first initialize our problem then use Monte Carlo loop and then use this expression to find the approximated value of pi in this section. Then at last we plot the data. So let us start now. So first I am defining the maximum iteration which is in this case 100. Then I am taking the record of the points which are outside the circle and records of the point which are inside the circle. Okay, and in this section, I am using Monte Carlo loop. So here, if you see, I am generating random numbers between zero minus 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 means my circle has a radius of 0 0.5 and a square has a length of 1 each side of square has a 1 length okay and this is the distance and this if loop says that if your data point ha is outside the circle then append that data point in out dot x and out dot y and if your data point is inside the circle then append the data in this list which is in x and in y and this is simple loop update then we are using this formula this 4 into n inside divided by n total which is in this case length of x in x and a summation of in x and out x okay and finally we are plotting the data this set of code will uh, plot the random points and this code will generate a square and this two line of code will plot the circle okay so let's run this thing and see what we are getting okay so for 100 iteration the value of pi is 3.5 16.8 which is somewhat near and let's increase let's uh, say 10,000 iteration okay so for 10,000 iteration the value of pi is 3.125 which is close to 3.14 let's further increase and see what we are getting so let us say 1 lakh iteration so this is pretty close now so for one lakh iteration the value of pi is 3.145 okay so and similarly guys you can uh, experiment with this uh, maximum iteration and uh, can get the value of pi okay so this was all guys See you in next video. Bye for now.